Welcome to How to Cook That. I'm Anne Reardon and today we are doing chilli hot chocolate ranging from mild all the way through to what claims to be the world's hottest chocolate. And I'm going to look at what makes chilli hot. Is there any way you can relieve that heat? Why can some people cope with it better than others? And have I ever told you I don't really like chilli spicy food? So I'm going to rope the rest of the family in but I am going to try them myself too. First up we have the Lint Chili Dark Chocolate. On the back it says, discover the intriguing combination of spicy chili and the finest dark chocolate for an exhilarating taste experience. All right, here we go. It's a little bit chilli chocolate. I wouldn't have even known that that was chilli if you didn't tell me. I can feel it a little bit now, so maybe a one. It's very, very, very mild. Not very spicy. That's all I'm letting you try, sorry. Next, I'm not sure whether to go with this one that says it's dark chocolate with sweet orange and a hit of chilli, or this one from the Yarra Valley Chocolatiery. It's so smooth chilli milk chocolate. On the back, this one says that it's smooth milk curvature chocolate balanced with a measured hint of chili. A hint sounds less than a hit, so let's go for the hint next. A measured hint. That doesn't sound very uh, chili y at all. Mmm! <laughs> It's a lot more spicy. I can feel it already and I haven't even chewed it all up. Mmm. That's... Oh. That's got a bite to it. That's definitely considerably hotter than the lint. Oh! Well, that's number two. I don't think I want to go to three. That was noticeably chilly. I can feel it when I breathe, but it's not insanely spicy. Pretty good. <laughs> it's borderline relief required, but I'll tough it out. Spicy hot food has a chemical in it called capsaicin, and when that hits your tongue, it triggers two types of sensory neurons. The thermoreceptors is the first one, and that sends a message to your brain saying it's warm, and the nociceptors, they're the ones that detect pain. And in this case, they incorrectly tell the brain that this is burning hot. The chili is actually not hot, and it's not burning the tongue at all, but your brain perceives it that way. This lady who can't feel pain ate a Carolina Reaper on this morning show and described the sensation as... It's warm. I have a nice, warm, warm. a nice glowing, warm feeling in my mouth. That's it. That shows us her thermoreceptors were still triggered, but she has no nociceptors or pain receptors, so she didn't get that burning sensation. Now, most of us do feel pain. It feels like burning on my tongue, which I know it's not actually burning. But that doesn't help. But why do some of us feel the heat from chilli more than others? If you eat hot chilli often, the specific nociceptors that are affected by capsaicin decrease in functionality over time, so they send less signals to your brain. Moving on to this one now that said it had the hit of chilli. This was a hint, this is a hit. Wow, let's go. There was no chilli in that one. That one wasn't spicy at all. They definitely taste orangey. It doesn't taste spicy. <laughs> I put that right back at one. A hit is less than a hint, apparently. In 1912, Wilbur Scoville came up with a method to measure how hot different chilies were in comparison to each other. With pure capsaicin up the top at 16 million Scovilles, a jalapeno comes in at around 6,000, Habanero, about 200,000. Ghost peppers, well, they're around 900,000. And Carolina Reaper, roughly 2 million Scovilles. The scale tells you the number of times an extract from the dried chilli was diluted in sweetened water before a panel of people could no longer detect any heat. Today, the American Spice Trade Association pungency test is used, and that measures the actual amount of capsaicin in the food. It can be multiplied by 16 to get a rough equivalent number of Scovilles. 
Next we have Hellraiser Milk Chili Chocolate. Milk chocolate with ghost chili, cinnamon, essential oil of sweet orange and clove. Specialist chili products, heat that comes for you. That's a, no, okay, yeah, no, that's there. Woo! I was gonna, I was gonna say it wasn't, wasn't much at all, but yeah, it kind of came in late. It was like a little, the guy comes late to the party. It was, yeah, it was a good moment. Let's get into the back of my throat, getting into the sinuses here. Yep, it's okay. I, it's more than a hit. It's more than a hint. It's kind of getting up to a, a solid whack in the face. Mm-hmm. At first it was just the cinnamon. <laughs> wow. It was just the cinnamon, but now that <coughs> heat is kicking in at the back of my throat. Let's give me a second. Whew. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can definitely taste the cinnamon in the back of the throat, kind of just every time you breathe. It's breathing fire, like a dragon. I mean, there's some spice. I think I might take the water on this one. It is a bit bit spicy in the back of my throat. Capsaicin doesn't dissolve in water, so that will not help you. Did the water help at all? Nope. Try, not at all. Try blocking your nose. <clears throat> one study found that blocking your nose decreased the perception of capsaicin in the mouth. But you might need to block your nose before you ingest it and not after. Does it make any difference to the heat? <laughs> Just looking like an idiot make you make any difference? Uh, not noticeable. Is it meant to? I've never heard that one. Does it help at all? No, not really. Okay, try the milk. Okay. The protein in milk, casein, binds to capsaicin surrounding it. Swirling it around your mouth like a mouthwash gives it a chance to bind more of the capsaicin, so it should help more than just swallowing it. Did that help? Um. Better than the water, but I think the water just made it worse. Certainly while the milk was in my mouth, it relieved it a little bit. I'm just waiting to see now I've swallowed it. Yeah, I think it did make a difference on the front of my tongue where I was kind of swirling the milk around, but the back of my throat where it only just passes over once, it didn't really make much difference. Next up, we have Black Widow Dark Chili Chocolate. Dark chocolate with ghost chili and essential oils of geranium and lemon. Heat that comes for you, same as before, so I'm expecting this one to be very similar. Nope, didn't turn up to the party. Not hot. Not hot. That one's not spicy at all. That one's just normal chocolate. It's a little bit spicy, but there's no burn. That one was nice, but not chilly. Now for white lightning. This one was really expensive, but they donate money to charity, which I think is a great idea. It says, warning, stupid spicy, infused with 12 of the world's hottest peppers. You must be insane to consume this pain. Just before I get into this sweet little nightmare, uh, let me talk to you about today's sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community and I've been getting stuck into this over the last month or so, uh, learning from great authors like Lisa Coe and Benjamin Percy about how to build character arcs and worlds and suspense, and uh, it's been fantastic. I've actually watched Benjamin's course twice in the last week, because I'm trying to get everything out of his head into mine about reversals and character and something called triangulation. Don't do it, triangulate instead. There are thousands of inspiring courses on Skillshare. There's no ads uh, and they're always adding new courses. So you can explore uh, a new passion or improve an old skill like me. The first thousand people to click on the link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today. Now the reason I'm doing writing courses is because I'm finally getting around to writing the sequel to my novel. It's been a long time. But a couple of years ago, I wrote a book called The Deep Enders. It went really well in Australia. In fact, it sold so many copies that a US publisher came along and said, we'd like to take this worldwide. 
And so as of like a couple of days from now, it's in bookstores online worldwide. So that's pretty good. You can get hold of the deep enders and then I've got to write the new one, which is kind of hard. So I'm going to procrastinate right now by eating some very spicy chocolate. Let's get ready for some insane pain. Mm-hmm. Mm. I hope this doesn't build because it's already hot. And straight away I can taste it, it's a lot higher. Ah. Oh. <coughs> oh. oh my goodness. Wow, that one. Oh. That cup has milk with extra milk protein added. Did milk help? Not really. Oh, I'm gonna get this one as well. This is concentrated sugar water. Capsaicin bonds well to most sugars, so sucking on something sweet should help. Help? I think so. Wow, but it's still very spicy. Oh, oh, dang. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's there. <laughs> yep. Reaching for the milk. Mm. Yeah, that one's spicy. The other one was like in the back of the throat. And this one's like all on the front of my tongue. Oh. Oh. I am sweating. That one's a good, very, no, oh. Yeah, it's bad. Oh. Oh, yeah, have this one as well. Capsaicin dissolves in oil, not water. So rinsing your mouth with vegetable oil has been shown to decrease the heat. I've added half chocolate into this to make it taste better. Can you relate? Um, I think so, but not much. Oh, that's giving me a bit of a eye water and a mouth water and a nose run. I hope you're enjoying this. Hey, give me some milk. <laughs> I would like some water just to wash it out of my mouth because that's keeping on going. Can I have more milk? It's, it's taken up residence at the back of my ears. It's not, it's not getting unbearable, but it's still hot. I think the milk definitely helps while it's in my mouth. Like it's no spice while it's in my mouth, but then it just like comes back every time that I swallow it. Ah. Uh. Feels like a tingling. Um, like a sharp tingling, like Almost pins and needles like, but more rapid. I, I'm gonna try the chocolate oil, see if I can get it off my tongue, cause... Oh. <sighs> Too hot. It's like an Australian summer. Too hot. It's still really hot. But I think the chocolate oil really helped. Woo! <sighs> I'm gonna try the sugar water. You could definitely taste the actual chilies in that one. Like it wasn't just spicy, you could taste the different peppers, the different all sorts that were in it, um, which was nice, but it's definitely very spicy, localized the back of my tongue and maybe the front roof of my mouth, but mainly the back of my tongue. Wow, that made a big difference. I'd hate to think how long that would last if I didn't have those, like that, that chocolate oil really helped. It's still spicy, like it's more spicy than it was down here, but it's not overwhelming before it was at that point of, ah, oh, make it stop. But now I feel like it's hmm, manageable. Sweating on my forehead and then nose and eyes running. And now yeah, it's still very spicy in my mouth every time that I like breathe. Oh. I feel like I want a new job. <laughs> and now onto the world's hottest chocolate bar, which says it has 9 million Scoville chili extract in it. On the back it says, this 12 piece chocolate bar is extremely spicy and is not to be consumed by those sensitive to spicy foods. This product contains a high amount of pure chili extract and is to be handled with extreme caution. Consume at your own risk. You can extract the capsaicinoids from lots of chilies and then concentrate that down until you have a paste. 
The Nile Red channel explains that process in detail, so you can watch that there. But essentially, you end up with a ridiculously hot concentrate of capsaicin, which even at the tiniest bit on the end of a toothpick can cause pain. It doesn't say how much of this is in the bar. I feel like once you're using capsaicin extract, it needs to have stricter labeling regulations so people know exactly how much is in it. Two British journalists tried an extreme burger which had lots of capsaicin extract in the sauce. They only had one bite each and both of them ended up in hospital. One of them lost feeling in his hands, his legs were shaking and his eyes rolled back. The other said he was in so much pain in his stomach that he felt like he was dying. And while in most cases these side effects are temporary and they will pass with time, there are some rare cases that have been reported that have been more serious. A healthy 15 year old who ate a Carolina Reaper got a severe disabling headache and hospital tests showed that it was caused by a sudden constriction of the blood vessels that supply oxygen to the brain. A 47 year old guy ate ghost peppers and went to hospital with severe abdominal pain and struggling to breathe and tests showed he had a collapsed lung and he'd ruptured his esophagus which can be deadly. He survived as well but he stayed in hospital for 23 days before he could be discharged. So know your limits with spicy foods and it's always okay to say no. Would you like to try the next one? Sure. <laughs> Are you sure? I mean, I guess so. It can't be too much worse than that one. I'm very hesitant. It, it, the last one actually proved to me that, that um, chocolate can actually be very hot. Okay. So, I'm just gonna have to go for it. Wow! <laughs> you didn't even have pace, did you? <laughs> it was like a grain of sand. You don't have to. Okay, if I do this, I'm just gonna do this because I, I pay a price for your entertainment. So if I do this, every one of you gotta comment and like and share and just go nuts and ballistic on this because uh, I'm going, I'm gonna, this is actually, here we go. You, we have a contract. <laughs> mm, oh, it's so hot. Ooh, oh, phew, I'm sweating. There's no way I'm, no way I'm going for that one. I, I'm still, I'm still hot from this one. It's not spicy at all. There's nothing. I got this. It's quite, it's quite, it's, qu it's quite unpleasant. Oh, wow, and it just hit. Woo! It's starting to come on now. It's definitely spicy, but I'm gonna have to wait. Ah! Ah! Oh! That is hot. Ow! <laughs> it's getting spicier. It's definitely catching my throat. Ah! That is so hot! That hurts! It's really, really, really hot. In terms of the actual heat, it's not that much hotter than the last one. It's actually what you expect when, oh, my ears are on fire. It is making my nose run. Ah, ah. it's so painful. It started to pass now. That one was different because it was very spicy in my throat and it made my nose run a lot more than the other ones. But in terms of the heat, it was similar to the last one, the white chocolate one. I can't even taste the chocolate. It's just like I just, a chili bomb just went off in my mouth. I think it's getting better. <clears throat> Maybe. Yeah. It's too hot. It's too oh. hot. It's too hot. I'm just going to be drinking milk. Ah, 
I think I licked my lips before and now my lips are really spicy as well. If you like this channel, let the algorithm know by liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing or watching more episodes. A huge thanks to my patrons for all of your support making these videos possible. Make it a great week and I'll see you on Friday.